everybody! Today I wanted to do a favourites video because I've become a little bit obsessed with watching favourites videos and then I realised I hadn't actually filmed one in a really long time. So I thought it was about time I shared with you a few of the things that I've been loving over the past couple of months. Um, mainly just the past month but um, all of the months that I haven't done one, basically rolled into one video. I generally tend to stick to all the things I love and I become so unadventurous with skincare and makeup that I almost have to like force myself to kind of delve through everything else that I own in order to explore new things and to find new favourites. But every time I do, I'm always so glad that I've done it and I'm always like, why do I just get so lazy with my routines? I definitely need to be adding new products to stuff so that I can find new amazing products, which also means I get to share them with you guys, which is what I love doing. Okay, so I'm gonna start with skincare. Body Shop Drops of Youth, Youth? <laughs> Drops of Youth? Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask, Smoothing, Refreshing and Replenishing Night Cream Gel. I'd never used a cream gel before. Um, obviously I know what a gel formulation is like and I know what a cream formulation is like, but when you put the two together, you don't really know what to expect. Um, but when I got this, I was immediately like, why is it saying bouncy? Um, and I opened it and, oh my goodness, okay, I've like been knocking this around, clearly. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Ugh. <laughs> the weirdest formulation I have ever felt. Oh, Nala's just at the door, Alfie. This stuff is like the coolest, weirdest formulation. No, don't eat it. Oh, that was close. Thanks, Alfie. The <laughs> there you go. It's a chewy alligator. You can chew this. You almost touch it and it bounces back and it leaves like an indent. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm like sticking my finger in. Nothing comes out of my finger, but it leaves a huge dent. It's like, it feels like Play-Doh. It feels like cold Play-Doh. <laughs> It also smells absolutely amazing. This contains Edelweiss stem cells. Edelweiss stem cells, yeah, okay. Um, which is designed to kind of moisturize your skin and leave it with that kind of youthful, glowing, hydrated look when you wake up. So you just put this on at night and you leave it on at night and when you wake up, you're like, ah. And um, it's meant to make your skin look bouncy. Um, it is so hydrating, like you only need the smallest amount. So although this is kind of like lower price range for a skincare product, it is still just over 20 pounds I think, but this will last you a really long time and also you can, like it just looks untouched every time, like I've used this a lot but it still looks like I've barely used anything. I just really like it, I really like how my skin feels the next day, I really, I do feel as though my skin looks a lot more hydrated and I also feel like um, it does leave my skin looking and feeling a lot more fresh and kind of rejuvenated and that is everything I thought it would be. The next thing I've really been loving is the Pixie Glow Tonic um, with aloe vera and ginseng. This is a toner which I apply onto a cotton wool pad and put over my entire face after I have cleansed my skin, before my serum and moisturiser and eye cream, so I will use this. This is an exfoliating facial tonic, so it removes dead skin cells as you wipe it over your face without it being really harsh on your skin, um, and it's not a scrub, so you're not using um, like a, a salt scrub or um, any of the other kind of facial scrubs that you can get with little bits in, which can sometimes be quite irritating if you have sensitive skin, and um, you do need to exfoliate your face. Exfoliating your face is um, a process that does help Kind of you need to get rid of the dead skin cells um, and a lot of people just think to grab the nearest thing with um, bits in it. I'm just going to say bits because the bits vary. But I have found this to be a lot more effective and um, I like the smell. It doesn't irritate my skin. I use it twice a day. I think if you have, I think if you have really sensitive skin you're only advised to use this once a day um, but I just really really like it. So this next product is a little more pricey and I blame Caroline Hirons for this because she introduced me to the brand um, but also I feel like um, when it comes to skincare you can be a bit more generous with how much you spend as you know this face has to last me a lifetime and I want to take care of it and if I'm going to spend money on clothes and holidays then I think it's only right to sometimes spend a little bit more on um, ensuring that your skincare is what you want it to be and is doing the things you want it to do. So, after that little disclaimer, 
Um, the next item is Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence Moisture Boosting Toner. Tata Harper's products are all 100% natural and non-toxic, which I found um, one of the main things that kind of drew me to the brand. Um, I also love the packaging, but it's not about the packaging when you're spending this much on a product. It's about what the product does and if it works well for your skin. And because I have sensitive skin, I tend to find that the more natural the product is, the better my skin gets on with it. And so that is why I have really been enjoying this. It is essentially a mist toner. So after I have used my Pixi Glow Tonic, I will sometimes spritz this on over the top or instead of um, the Pixi Glow Tonic. And this is honestly so lovely. Um, you know those days where you just feel a bit gross and your skin doesn't feel how you want it to feel, it doesn't feel hydrated, it doesn't feel moisturised, and it doesn't feel fresh, that's the only way I can describe it, is like that fresh feeling. This instantly makes you feel that fresh feeling. I remember when the Caudalie, I can't remember what it was called, the Caudalie spray was kind of like, everyone went obs was obsessed over it and everyone was buying it and I never got on with it and I was like I just don't see the point in a mist toner I just I didn't get it I was so used to wiping toners over my entire face but since I've been using this I've been completely converted I absolutely love it and you guys know I wouldn't ever recommend you look into anything if I thought it wasn't any good so for those of you that do have a bit more of a budget on skincare or you don't mind exploring other areas for skincare then you might want to check this out um, this brand has amazing reviews um, it's definitely not cheap so don't feel that you have to kind of save up for an item it's definitely only if this is kind of within your price range but I have been really enjoying it. You can also use this over your makeup as well, which I don't tend to do because generally that means I'll end up with like mascara all over my face because I'm never very good at spraying a fine mist and I always scrunch my face up as much as I try and relax. I'm still a face scruncher when it comes to face sprays. So yeah, I've just really been liking that. The last skin, it's kind of a skincare item, but it is for my hands, is the MV Organic Skincare for Radiant Healthy Skin Hand Rescue. My hands are the bane of my existence. I have the most dry, cracked, granny-fied hands ever. And I've always said this, this is why I never take care of my nails, this is why I never really do nail varnish, and I always have dry hands. Like, the weather here is not cold anymore, it's just a kind of nice, comfortable temperature and I and I still have cracked hands sometimes even painfully cracked hands which I think I get from my dad so cheers for the dry dry hands dad and, and for that reason I find um, finding the perfect hand cream quite the challenge I feel like a lot of them don't even scratch the surface I've tried all manner of different hand creams um, and I have quite a few on the go at the moment. I just have to make sure there's like one next to my bed, one in my handbag, one in my office. Wherever I can, I'll try and leave a hand cream and kind of use it throughout the day. But it is one of those things that unless it's in front of you, you forget uh, that you have to moisturise because you're constantly moisturising everywhere else and I guess you just think, it's okay, my hands had moisture today. But in actual fact, hands get dry very, very quickly. You're washing your hands all the time. You're always doing things with your hands. So you need to look after your hands. So I got sent this to my PO box. I didn't think much of it. I was just like, oh, it's a hand cream. I'll try it. And I've honestly become obsessed. I'm not actually mad keen on the scent of this product. It smells kind of orangey. And unless it's chocolate orange, I'm not into orange scented things. I'm not into orange flavored things but I can look past the smell of this product because of how amazing it feels on my hands and because of the formulation of the actual product. It does say intensive skin and cuticle treatment, so this isn't just a normal hand cream. Nala has farted. I will resume in a moment. <laughs> So it is for very dry hands. If you don't like that feeling on your hands, then it would leave kind of like a semi greasy feel you won't like this there's no point even looking into it um but yeah i have been really really liking that so thought i would give it a little mention okay, moving on to makeup i feel like this is going to be a really long rambly video so i apologize for that if 
by now you're already a little bit bored. The first thing I've been really loving is my Stila Eyes of the Window palette and it comes with this ginormous mirror and lots and lots of beautiful eyeshadow shades. Um, I like all of them besides the grey. Grey does not suit me, I have found out um, through the years of trial and error. Grey eyeshadows do not suit me. I think it has something to do with my skin tone and the colour of my eyes but grey just doesn't look good. Um, I'm currently wearing this shade and this shade. I've also been using this gold one to death because I've been really loving gold and I also just really like Stila eyeshadows. The next thing I've really been loving I can imagine is quite a hit and miss item and that is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I am the shade Mont Blanc for those of you that are interested. I've been wearing this um, in a lot of my most recent videos. I've got it on today so you can get kind of look at how it looks on the skin. Um, I always get compliments whenever I wear this foundation, uh, whether that's in a photo, in real life, in a video. I always have people asking me what foundation I'm wearing. Now, when I have it on, I feel like it looks really great. Um, however, I would never have imagined I would ever love this because it's very, very watery. In fact, if I shook this now, it would seep out of somewhere. And then it is a little bit more difficult to blend into the skin. By that, I mean when I have my brush and I've taken a bit off the back of my hand and I'm blending it, it takes a lot longer um, to blend and not have those kind of lines of where you're trying to blend. Whereas with the Sheer Glow Foundation, I've never had that issue. Formulation isn't my favourite, but when it's actually on your skin, and you're looking at yourself in the mirror or you're taking a photo or you catch yourself and you just think my skin looks great it's the foundation i just think it makes my skin look so good and that makes me very happy and i didn't think i would like it because you do have to give it that little bit more effort when you're applying it but i feel like that really pays off so um i just thought i would give that a little mention because I do really, really love the coverage and the way it makes my skin look. When you kind of see the word luminous and weightless, you almost imagine it to be a kind of dewy BB cream slash tinted moisturiser sort of formulation, but it's really not like that at all. And it does feel very lightweight. I don't feel like I have foundation on and it does last a really good amount of time and nothing goes patchy on it which makes me very happy. The next thing is a concealer which I've also been using with the NARS Luminous, Luminous Weightless, Luminous Weightless Foundation um, and it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Why is everything weightless? This is in the colour Light which if you are very very fair will not match your skin tone. I use this on my face um, under my eyes I feel like it's not quite light enough because I like to have a bit more brightness under the eyes but on my blemishes I've been using this and I've really really liked it. It has a doe foot applicator um, so kind of like a lip gloss which I also really like and the coverage is amazing. So love, 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 love. This is all I've been using on my blemishes for like the past like two months. Next thing is a huge obsession. I feel like I could do a whole video talking about this because I love it so much. This is probably my most loved item of the past few months and that is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Um, I wasn't madly excited about it but um, I gave it a go and I was obsessed and all of a sudden my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara was pushed to the back of the drawer and this was what I was picking up every single morning. I honestly um, like head over heels in love with this mascara. It is a plastic applicator which firstly I would have never ever considered would be good because I don't really like plastic applicators on mascaras. I much prefer the bristles because I feel like they grab at my lashes a lot more. Um, my lashes are naturally quite long, they are naturally quite curly but I feel like when I use this, I, I feel like sometimes I can get like a false lash effect just with this mascara and nothing else. No primer, no nothing. It applies really nicely, it comes off really nicely in the evening, it doesn't leave any smudges underneath my eyes throughout the day. Um, the only place it does leave smudges sometimes is up here, but that's because my lashes are so long and I probably just don't wait for them to dry. Um, 
And I just love how this makes my lashes look. Again, this is another item that people have gone to me, oh my god, what mascara are you wearing? Your eyelashes look insane. And I'm like, it's Benefit's Roller Lash. It's incredible. Love it. And I've already bought a backup. <laughs> because this is about to run out and go dry. Candles wise, um, I kind of feel like I should throw in a candles category since every single month I am burning and loving many different candles. Um, but this month I'm gonna say I've been loving the Lilac Blossom Candle by Bath & Body Works. I've been very sparing with it. This isn't actually the one I bought from, from Bath & Body Works in my haul. That was a small one wick candle which is in my office, which I'm also sparingly burning, and then I ordered this off of eBay. It just smells like a summer garden on a hot day. It smells amazing. It smells really floral, but not kind of a uh, rosy type floral. Um, and, oh, here we go. Freshly cut lilac blossoms with a hint of lily of the valley and delicate violet create the ultimate spring fragrance. That's pretty much it. That, that sums it up way better than I ever could. I've been loving that so much so that my friend Carrie um, brought me back this from America which is the same candle actually it's just in a different packaging and it's lilac blossom oh my goodness it smells so good okay Nala it's fine Nala it's next door neighbours in their garden and that's okay, isn't it? They're allowed to do that. Hey, come on now. No. Oh. Stop it. Come here. <laughs> Two other things I've really been loving. One is music and one is a new TV series. The TV series is Once Upon a Time, which I am watching on Netflix. I'm currently towards the end of series one and I am really enjoying it. It's about fairy tale characters that find themselves trapped in the modern day and I am just really enjoying it because it does feel very magical but it also has really good like twists and plot changes. So if any of you are after a new Netflix series then check out Once Upon a Time because it's awesome. The other thing I've really been loving is Shawn Mendes. I love Shawn Mendes, I love all his songs. I just really, really like his music. I have never listened to any of his songs and thought, mm, I don't like this as much. I just love every single song he has ever sung. I will put a little link in the description box to his album, Handwritten, so if any of you guys wanna go on, go on over and check that out or listen to his album, then uh, then do, do it. It's, it's really good, it's really good. So that is all of my favorites. I feel like this is gonna be such a long video, but I hope I haven't bored you to death or to tears, and I hope you found this interesting. I would absolutely love to know what you guys have been loving, so leave me a little comment in the comments section. And I hope you've all had an awesome weekend. I'll see you very soon, goodbye!